Over the last two centuries uh, in the history of the observation of Kilauea Crater and Halemaumau, uh, there had not been any recorded water. Uh, frequent visitors to the to the caldera, especially in the winter, uh, know that rainfall will pond on the crater floor in small patches. Um, but you know they're very small, and they usually evaporate during the following day if it's not continuing to rain. Rainfall retention is a little bit higher outside the crater because of all the ash deposits there, make it more difficult for rain to percolate down into the rock. But still, you know, the existence of a persistent crater lake um, is not known over the last two centuries. Questioning a Hawaiian kupuna about whether there are mentions of water lakes in the summit um, have not turned up anything in Malay or or other um, recordings. The water table uh, under Kilauea Volcano has been there for decades, if not centuries. Um, over the last several decades, it's been roughly in the same place, uh, several hundred meters below the crater floor. It was originally discovered in 1973 when a National Science Foundation um, research drill hole was drilled about a mile south of where the lake is now. Um, and it drilled down to sea level, but it found water uh, just about 500 yards below the crater floor. The water in the well has been monitored since then off and on. Um, and it, uh, its level has varied a bit, but not, not a whole lot, probably less than uh, 10 or 20 yards over, the, over since 1973. Many people have looked to see whether the water level would be affected by summit activity. And uh, there were some differences that could be ascribed to those volcanic events, but nothing very definite. Um, and certainly during the collapse in 2018, many of us thought that there would be a large uh, change in the, in the water level, uh, but there wasn't. We were all kind of stumped when there was this huge collapse that took the bottom of Halimamon Crater below the, where the water level was thought to have been, and there was no water there. So over the past year, we've uh, kind of accepted that maybe there was some error in the water table um, estimates early on. Uh, but in July, uh, there was water coming back into the crater, and we hypothesized that it either was the returning water level of uh, groundwater or accumulated rainwater from just the nearby uh, superficial rainfall. Um, but its steady growth and its uh, color suggest that it's part of the groundwater system that's recovering from the 2018 collapse. Before everything happened in the summit, there was a, a fairly level water table. The first graphic shows uh, a profile uh, across the crater floor in, in cartoon uh, style. Uh, it's not the scale, but it shows Holly Mountain, Mountain Crater uh, within the crater floor of Kilauea Caldera. And the blue area below is the water table that's about 500 yards below the floor, Kilauea Caldera floor. Uh, this is the way it's been very stably, um, except when eruptions happen on the crater floor. In 2008, when the magma rose up to the uh, crater floor and eventually created the, the uh, lava lake. Um, as it was rising through the groundwater, it apparently uh, developed a steam sleeve around it to insulate the water, uh, the groundwater from the magma and therefore essentially prevent more explosive interactions. In 2018, when the crater floor collapsed, the groundwater uh, either dropped with the crater floor or somehow um, vacated that space and it became uh, quite a bit deeper. After the collapse, the, uh, which is shown as a V here in cartoon style, the V, by the way, is about 2,000 feet deep, but the water table uh, went down with the collapsing crater floor and it was well below the bottom of the new Hale Mo'omo'o pit. Um, with time that rose and in July of this year it became visible at the bottom of the pit and has continued to rise ever since. From the uh, 1973 drill hole, we know how deep the water table is at that location. 
about a mile south of the current uh, crater lake. Uh, with geophysical information from around the crater and the crater floor, we think that the water table may be a bit higher to the north side of the crater. And um, as the water table returns, it's seeking hydraulic equilibrium with the water table around it. Uh, so it may actually, it, it probably will go up to at least a level of the water in the well to the south of the caldera, uh, but it may go a bit higher. We, we know this from examples of mine lakes, where on the mainland where mines are excavated to depths greater than the water table. And in order to continue mining, they have to pump all the water out while the mine is active. Once the, once the mine becomes inactive and is no longer used, the pumping stops and they allow the groundwater to come back. Uh, so there are many observations of this process of water coming back to seek equilibrium with the groundwater around it. Uh, there have been a few models that suggest pretty much as we've hypothesized, this will be a slow process, although in our rocks, the rise is quite rapid compared to what it would be in a, in a different type of rock on the mainland. But it's doing exactly what it should, and it should slow down as it approaches that hydraulic equilibrium. Uh, level. And today, the water tables uh, continue to rise. We expect it to rise another 60 or 70 yards before it reaches hydraulic equilibrium with the groundwater around it. Or the groundwater underneath the crater <coughs> is, is confined by structures around it. What's called high level water because it's so high above sea level um, does not extend to the ocean, for example. It, it cuts off about at the Kauai Fault Zone, the Lahina Fault Zone. And, so there's some sort of structure within those fault zones that impounds, that keeps the water high within the caldera. The water kind of sits underneath Kilauea caldera. There's no evidence that it goes very far, um, and certainly not within the rift zones. But the rift zones themselves also act as hydraulic barriers to groundwater um, locally. For example, the area between Pohoa and uh, Keaau, <coughs> there's a huge amount of groundwater going through that but the East Rift Zone confines it north of the Rift Zone. We know from our observations of coastal entries that magma or lava mixing with water of any kind, ocean water or uh, fresh water, can result in ex uh, minor explosions. But it doesn't always. Sometimes uh, the lava goes just straight into the ocean without much interaction. We've seen that uh, also. Uh, so it's not a, a guarantee that lava encountering this crater lake at the summit will create even minor explosions, but it might. And so we should be prepared for that. There are geological inferences that larger explosions have happened. Modeling based on the inferences from past explosions centuries ago suggests that two things have to occur for the water lake to contribute to explosions, that is, the existence of the lake. And the second is very fast rising magma coming to the surface, faster than we've probably seen in the last two centuries at the summit. So <clears throat> we should be positioned fairly well to see uh, precursors of such activity since it would be relatively unusual to what we've seen in the past.